Hey, I'm Nick Boy, and this is Pocket News for Tuesday, the 18th of August. Good morning. First up, and Clint Hocking has left Amazon Game Studios. Hocking was a former creative director for Ubisoft, working on games such as Splinter Cell Chaos Theory and Far Cry 2. He then hopped between Valve and LucasArts before arriving at Amazon just last year. Hocking has not indicated why he's decided to leave the company after just one year, nor has he revealed what's next for him. Good luck, Mr. Hocking. Next up, and the fan remake of Resident Evil 2 is no more. Invader Games are a community group who were working on Resident Evil 2 Reborn, a complete remake of the classic horror game built in Unreal Engine 4. However, last week Capcom announced they would be developing an official HD remaster of Resi 2 and approached Invader Games to ask them to cease production. Invader were happy to comply, stating that contrary to what might be thought, this is wonderful news for us. As fans, we're so happy that Capcom has decided to take the lead on the project. And finally, Mike Bithol's new game, Volume, has been delayed on the Vita. Volume is due out today on PC, Mac, PS4 and Vita, but unfortunately the Vita won't make the launch party. Overnight, Bithol unexpectedly announced that the Vita launch would be delayed by a couple of weeks in order to give the game more time with the quality assurance team on the platform. The game will still be a part of Sony's cross-buy program though, which means that if you buy it on PS4, you will be able to get it on the Vita for free once it drops. And that's it for the news today. Look at this. Tonight on Good Game, Bajo and Hex review King's Quest, Victor Vran, and they get feisty. That's at 8.30 p.m. on ABC2. And come back here later this afternoon for Pocket Prime to watch me build up a Pavlovian fear to this sound. Until then, Nick Boy out. Make it stop. <laughs>